Howdy folks, Corky Duke here, Bomber Crew is the game, and Research Bomber number 21 is the name. And what I'm going to try and do on this uh, this mission is course go res resistance supply drop without tagging any fighters. So let's go ahead and uh, get going on this. I'm very familiar with this mission, and really the only fighters that I encounter will be when I first fly, I can fly around all the fighter patrols. I know how to do that. So, so we're going to we're gonna have to call the fighters in, the Mustangs, in here in a little bit because they're going to have to deal with the fighters because I'm not going to tag them. Let's, uh, let's call them in. If I go around and stay out of Sardinia, I won't want any, any fighter patrols. I'm going to go ahead and try to get the high altitudes. That'll help, I think. Yeah. Just keep skirting around Sardinia. We cut across Sardinia, we run into fighter patrols. I know because I look for them. Anyway, what I do with this uh, <clears throat> campaign is whatever I want. Now, if I want to try and find out um, how to do something or will this work, um, I, I, I play it out. And it's all in this Research Bomber uh, campaign, uh, which is available in the playlist of my YouTube channel. So check that out and you'll find all kinds of stuff I did. Do cell ceiling fuel tanks really work? Come to find out they don't. They don't work. They don't leak and then stop leaking once they start leaking. So, and there's a video that'll prove that. And it's in my playlist. And I want to, okay, I can keep doing this until I can't see anything. And I'm going to drop down. Now, those fighters that normally show up haven't showed up yet. Hmm, that's very interesting. Well, if I can keep, if I don't lose my uh, navigation, I can just stay at high altitude. I can actually do this mission from high altitude. I've done it before. But I expected them to at least throw three fighters at me. Because they usually do. But they should have thrown them at me by now. And now they're gone. Oh well, I'm just going to stay at high altitude. Hmm. So I wonder why they didn't throw the three fighters at me. As soon as you basically head over the Mediterranean, those three fighters throw up. I, I think it's like part of a patrol in southern Sardinia type of thing. But they didn't show up this time. Hmm. Should I should, I know I can do this mission from high altitude. I've already done that. So I think I'll drop down to medium altitude. But I can, when I did it from high altitude, I didn't worry about being detected. I just went straight through it and got detected and fighters jumped me but I was at high altitude so not all the fighters could reach me. So well I'll get everybody ready here. So <laughs> no fighters popped up. Hmm. Because usually three fighters will pop up. I've already said that. Sorry. But I'm just surprised to not see those fighters. Because every single time they pop up. If you play this game, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and I changed the paint job. I like this paint job. It's called Birmingham Let's Free. As long as I don't get detected, I'll be alright. at high altitude. I'm going to have to come down to medium altitude anyway to take the recon photo. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that now. Can take the photo from high altitude, it won't let you. And that radar site to the northeast is going to pop up here in a little bit. But anyway, I like doing this and, and trying different things. I tried a, a different type of a crash landing where I, I tried to, uh, I let the bomber get really badly shot up. Of course, we lost our landing gear. And this was, uh, I think it's called a different approach to a crash landing. And what I did is I tried to land with the bomb bay doors open and it tore it all to piece, pieces. You can find out for yourself if you watch the video. Yeah, the bomber completely came apart. So, so that didn't work. I figured there might be a different way to uh, land on the, on the bomb bay doors with the bomb bay doors open, but it didn't work out. So don't try that if you want to survive a crash landing. Now, even if I get detected, I'm still not going to tag fighters, so this could be the end of this bomber if <coughs> they get detected, but, <coughs> oh, excuse me, hopefully we won't get detected. All right, time to take our picture. So we haven't even encountered any fighters yet. So there were no fighters for me to even tag. Wonder what was up with that. So if we get detected, we'll, we'll definitely be in trouble. Not tagging any fighters. That'll spell my doom. I'll try to get to high altitude, call the Mustangs in as quick as possible. But ever since I started this approach to this mission, I haven't been detected. There we go. to go all the way around Sardinia again because that's usually the path that uh, amounts to no fighters. So, because usually I would cut across Sardinia and I'd run into fighter patrols when I'm trying to, uh, when I'm playing this game in a campaign and I'm trying to beef up, oh, we're starting to lose our sight. I'm uh, trying to lose, or trying to gain uh, experience for the gunners and have them shoot down more fighters. So that's basically what that's about. But I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to head straight south and go around Sardinia to stay out of their fighter patrols. And I'll be able to successfully complete this mission without tagging any fighters. Didn't see any. I've never had Corsica Resistance Supply Drop mission where I've never seen any fighters. They've always launched those three fighters from the very beginning. And then if you do, if you take this path, they won't launch any more. Cut across Sardinia and they'll launch some at you. But I better keep my eye on the radar just in case something changes. Matter of fact, we can fly at a high altitude. Till we get 
to the Mediterranean and then make a sharp right turn. But so far, so good. I haven't tagged a single fighter. <laughs> haven't seen any. Ah, yes. I do like this game. Despite the historical inaccuracies, there's supposed to be 10 crewmen to AB-17, not 9. They're missing a co-pilot. Why are they missing the co-pilot? Did he not show up for briefing? Okay, we're going to have to start coming down. And we're going to do that quickly. I could have stayed up there a little bit longer. Hmm. All right. We'll make this right hand turn here in a little bit and we'll head home. Just in case. I gotta have him sit somewhere. Good. No, we can't do that. They'll run out of oxygen. Gonna have him just sit in the uh, radio room and like play cards, but I can't do that because they'll run out of oxygen. How long will before they run out of oxygen? How long have they? Quite a ways. That's good. He's got a good. He's got a good oxygen system on him. Start seeing his oxygen go bad here in a little bit. Can't see nothing. Goodness sakes. Oh, here in a little bit. oxygen, portable oxygen systems work really well. You want to use the advanced oxygen. That's the best one to use. <sighs> hmm, so where's this? We're at high altitude, right? We sure are. Oh, look at this. There it goes, finally. Alright, maybe just getting back into a place where it's oxygen. Oh, excuse me, that was a really long time without oxygen. Wow. All right, we are almost home. Look at this. So, I flew a mission where I don't have one bullet hole at all on the plane. How about that? And I didn't tag any fighters either. How about that? Cool. I think things went just fine on this mission. There 
it is. All righty. Let's get this bird landed. Ground crew won't have anything to do tonight. <laughs> we can honestly tell them, no fighter shot at us. What? They'll look over the plane. I don't see any bullet holes. That's because no fighter shot at us. We didn't see any. It was actually typical of the 8th Air Force towards the end of the war. A lot of crew members never reported any, seeing any fighters. Flat got worse, but the fighters didn't. By then, uh, the Third Reich was out of fuel. They didn't have enough fuel. They didn't have enough qualified pilots for them. They would run out of everything. Okay. Well, what do I want to upgrade with? Hmm. I've got the fuselage up. This is Mark three, four. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm Corky Duke. Corky Duke.com is my website. Like, comment, share my video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd appreciate it. That was the wow, 246th mission, all in all. That's not this bomber's 246th mission. Of research bomber number 21. I've lost 20 bombers so far in this campaign. Look at all these stats of this campaign. So, how the crew, 81 crew lost. Anyway, okay, and uh, this was uh, Corsica Resistance Supply Drop without tagging fighters. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all later. Y'all take care. Bye.